best sports with Montana Sportscaster of the Year, Knowles and Kelly. Hi again, everybody, and welcome back. It's been an unlikely road to hope, but the Mustangs have risen from the ashes after a rotten second half of the season. They're now just two wins away from capturing their 10th Pioneer League championship. Packed house tonight, like you said, 4,300 on hand, and they got quite a thrill in the bottom of the sixth. Back-to-back -back home runs. And the guy that cranked a three-run home run, this guy right here, Chris Dickerson, what a monster shot that was, man. I'd like to be the first to welcome you to Billings for putting on quite a show tonight. The madness of March in full effect tonight, not because you've all been drinking green beer tonight and singing about shamrocks and leprechauns. Oh, no. Well, some of us. We're talking tournament basketball tonight, and one surefire way not to get into the field of 65 is by dropping seven of your last 11 games just after the Wyoming Cowboys. I've got this green flag in my hand for a reason. They're going to let me start. The main modified final heat. They're coming around right now. They've been holding the race for me all night. I've always wanted to do this. Ready? Here we go! Saddle up, dust your boots. We're going to the rodeo. Okay, let's get her done. Tomorrow night, college football will crown its true champion in the Fiesta Bowl. You can watch this game right here on ABC6. The game features the only two unbeaten teams in the nation, the Miami Hurricanes and the Ohio State Buckeyes. I can also uh, suggest a name for these guys. This one's uh, whiny, and I don't know what we're going to name that one just yet. I am a pet lover, a very big pet lover, and because of that, we've got some warm and cuddly sports on deck for you tonight. Put it in my mouth. Uh, out of the way, yeah. <laughs> I gotta, I'm got. i not going to lie to you. I've been in more sanitary sports than this. <laughs> we didn't really call an official timeout. I don't think they're going to miss them too much, though. Even the guy with the mask on is still playing better than me. He can't see. They're going to divide us up into teams. The fastest team gets a prize. So I'm just telling you right now, if you're on my team, you better bring it, all right? <laughs> Bears start back at quarterback Chris Chandler, who is rumored to be so old, he's actually now eligible to pre-board on the Bears charter flights. There you go. Oh, yeah, shit. He's fighting me! David Kelly, just as popular in the baseball world. The fans in Baltimore, where he played for many years, often you turn him for another on field legend, Hall of Fame quarterback Johnny Unitas. Much better. <laughs> You could tell I played when I was a kid, right? <laughs> you will tell all my friends, of course, this is a champion cap, right? It's harder than it looks, folks, trust me. Hi again, everybody, and welcome back. College volleyball tonight as the Batlin Bears Yellow Jackets rivalry is renewed once again. This is the 29th time in school history these two teams have gone head to head. Last year, the Batlin Bears won both matches between the schools. Could they do that again tonight? Let's take you to the action right now. Game three, Rocky in the near court. Tess Morrison with a set to Courtney Arthur. She puts it away for the Rocky point. MSUB in control for most of this match tonight, though. Katrina Dahlgren slamming it down. The Yellow Jackets cruising in the third game, but they weren't done. How about some more Yellow Jackets highlights? Left side for Olivia Monroe. Point goes to MSU Billings as the Jackets roll in this one. They win three straight over Rocky. Prep football on the docket tonight with the Roberts Rockets making the trip out to Custer. A satellite truck and TV crew also made the trip because this game was aired live on cable. It ended just a little while ago. Let's show you what happened. Custer on the move in the red zone in the second. With the lead, they give to Tyler Stuke. He motors it in for six points. That's his fourth touchdown of the game, and that always makes a mascot happy, doesn't it? At the other end, the Rockets respond right away. They'll get in the red zone right away. Skyler Weplinger powers his way into the touch. Rockets are right back in it at that point, but it's not going to last. The Cougars pull away in the second half, 44-22 the final tonight, Custer over Roberts. As you know, we are in our fourth week of prep football, and in case you haven't seen our coverage on Friday nights, you're missing out. We call it the Farmers Insurance Friday Night Football Frenzy. And guess what? We use a helicopter, that's right, a helicopter, to get to more games and bring you more highlights than anybody else. This Friday night, look for me in the skies and then landing next to the fields at these games. Columbus taking on Absorkey, that's a big rivalry game, and I will be there thanks to the helicopter. Gardner plays at Joliet, and Shields Valley takes on Park City, the Panthers. So look for me in the Northern Skies Aviation Helicopter. Topper, I don't know about you, but I am so excited for high school football this week. At any given moment, I could drop into a three-point stance and just get after somebody. 
Back to the action now. After a week off, Billing Central is back at it Saturday night, playing host to Harden. The Rams enter in good shape with a 2-1 mark through their first three games of the season. The Bulldogs are looking to rebound from a tough loss at home to Belgrade. Oh, I think we're, we're where we want to be. Um, we we definitely got to you know be a little bit more balanced offensively, and and the big strong runner that Harden has is, will be a challenge for our defense, and we need to we need to improve on that. The Bulldogs and Rams getting after it under the lights at Dallas on Saturday night. Kickoff is set for 7 o'clock. You know who's going to be there, don't you? Billings. Billings Best Sports. Thank you very much. Now, you know the Bulls hockey season just around the corner because the weather's getting chilly outside. Bulls camp's been going on on a limited basis now for the past couple of weeks. They had two exhibition games last week in Bismarck. Today, the Bulls get word that they will be without their fourth leading score in the league from last year. John Stockler called head coach Mike Akins this week to tell him that he will not be returning to the Bulls next season, and that is going to hurt. Instead, Stockler has opted to play for a junior A team in British Columbia, the Trail Smoke Eaters. Say that ten times fast. Stockler also had two Division I scholarship offers on the table from last year, each one from Army and Air Force. Still, he opted to return for a third junior season. Now, they do have a game this weekend, another exhibition game, the first of two in the next two weeks. The Bulls travel to Bozeman to take on their bitter, bitter rivals, the Ice Dogs. We wish them the best of luck without Johnny Stockler. But you know what? Mike Aikens has got a great thing going in that program right there. they got a lot of support from this community. And they're going to be right back in track and be just fine. Now, I'm sorry that I'm still laughing about that three-point stance. At any given moment, people. Yeah, watch. Hey, come on. No. All right. I'm right. Sorry. Don't, we don't got scare under control me. right here. Friday Night Frenzy coming up, baby. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Noel. Hello again, everybody. It's time for another edition of Nolsey Challenge. If you haven't seen this before, kids challenge me to various sporting events, and I always accept. And, of course, we always have a lot of fun. But this week, it's a little unusual. I was challenged to play ice hockey with the Billings Bulls. Specifically, I was challenged to play against their mascot, Boris the Bull. Here we go. I almost slipped on the rubber. I can't wait to get on the ice. These three guys are on your team. You're the white team. Before we go, I just want to say I admire you all. <laughs> I'm not one yet. All right. <laughs> you could tell I played when I was a kid, right? Well, I'm not a kid anymore, I guess. <laughs> we didn't really call an official timeout. I don't think they're going to miss him too much, though. Even the guy with the mask on is still playing better than me. He can't see. Can't see, huh? I'm proud of all of you. You're doing great. I'll be with you in a minute. If I can keep fogging up my face mask. Ow! I didn't roll over and play dead, did I? Oh, God! I didn't shame myself though, did I? You, you think? Ah! <laughs> I kind of like you, Boris. You talk way less than my girlfriend. The true Boris said this would help. I'd rather sit in it than push it. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're hitting the pipes. <laughs> You want some, Boris? You want some? You want some? Oh, Get up! Get up! Get up! So here I am in the penalty box. Like I said, five for fighting. Boris may have won the battle. <laughs> but I won the war! <laughs> Who's laughing now, mascot boy? <laughs>